Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing some 1-2 cash games, buying for this game's $200. Alright, so we see the 4-bet. Quite a bit of their stack in here, I don't imagine there's going to be tons of folds, probably. So I think we're just going to get it in instead of slow playing this one. So we jam the aces. Don't get the snap call, eventually get a call pretty quick. Kings, oh my gosh, absolute cooler, hopefully we can hold. No king, yes, ace is good. Get that in. Very, very fortunate there. So raise a limper, go three as the flop will check here. See a half pot bet from a short stock. I'm trying to think if I want to check jam here, just check call. Um Assuming this player fold. I'm not gonna jam if they call. Uh so we call forty seven. Just gonna call king on the turn check. So I don't love the king turn, but they shouldn't have tons of king x betting out flop here. So basically, decide if we're going with this or not. I do have to worry about two x, but I think we get this in, hoping they have some like straight draws or just playing some wild hand with like a four pocket fives, something like that. I do have to worry about two x more than the king? I think has king nine wild and expect that. Okay, so <laughs> they bet the flop. We get them to bet it in. Unfortunately, bad turn card. And we stack off the queens. Cut off open, through bet ace jack suit to get snap called. Flop a jack here, also a king out there though. So check, king jack seven. Nine on the turn. Betting turn with the intention to check a lot of rivers. Not this one though. I think jam here, trying to target like an ace seven, king nine, jack nine type hand. So yeah, we're gonna go for jam here. Get snap called as ace queen. Wow, what a perfect river to get paid. Ace jack good. Ace, ace king over here, we open, get a couple calls, flop top top. Lead for two. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and raise here. Calls pretty quick, four spades turn. So six five comes in, which isn't great, but especially when they're short like this, we're just gonna be willing to go with this one. So we'll start piling more money in. And if they decide to get in on the turn, we'll be getting it in. Three on the end, shouldn't change much. They've got 46 behind, 83 effective. We'll just jam here, hoping they have like an ace jack, ace 10, ace nine type hand. And calls ace queen, perfect, ace king good. So it goes hijack open, we threw at 10, nine suited. See the four bets, uh, I believe you get to call here. So take the flop in position, flop eight gut shots. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and float here for one. Turn spade. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check the turn here. And then I would probably bluff this river if check two. So what am I repping? I could definitely have like pocket jacks, pocket tens on the spade. Both of those make a lot of sense here. So we'll bet three quarters on the river. Trying to get them to fold a hand doesn't have a spade here. So even a hand like a set or two pair, pretty tough to call out a spade. So flop would be close with jacks or tens of the spade, I think could call. Ends up having a set of aces. So I was hoping we'd get those to fold there, but I can understand the call. So anyways, bluff it off with 10 high, no good. Uh, so we have two limps raise. We're just going to flat here in the big blind. Hand plays pretty well multi-way if it gets to that point. So three ways to the flop, flop middle pair, backdoor straight draw, check. Half pot's going to call one. Turn heart, check, pretty bad turn. We probably start folding our second pair here if we see a bet. Check, check, east river. I'm trying to think if I want to turn your bluff. I'm going to check here to potentially check jam as a bluff. Although he king, I'm trying to think of the king of hearts. King of hearts can make sense in my spot. I'm trying to think if it doesn't his. So we're going to go for the check jam here. As a bluff. Obviously, he doesn't have the king of hearts. I can have the king of hearts pretty reasonably here, I feel like. Taking this line, it's also hard to find tons of bluffs in this spot. So here we're just hoping it has like 
medium heart, ends up calling. Oh, the second nuts. All right, so he turned the flush and check. It's a good turn check. Gets me to blast off a bit. Not sure it's a great bluff, but we tried running it. Or it doesn't work. So again, I'm not sure. We don't really need to have a bluff there a ton, and I'm not sure like what makes the best combos to do so. But anyways, sometimes you go for it, it doesn't work out. That was gonna be one of them, unfortunately. Uh, here we raise a limper with tens get called. Seven four two and be setting up check raise. So we've got the plan. Puts in another raise. So pre-flop, I don't think... I've never played this player before, but I imagine we're good most of the time. I'm actually just going to get this in on the flop. This is a lot of money to pile in with one pair, but I think we're just going to go for it out of position. Ugh, set. All right, so... Man, two rough hands there. Again, that's a lot of money just to be piling in against the third bet. No history with this player, but... Decide to try and get it in does not work out. All right, so we have undergone open, cut off three bet. We cold four East King suited. See what happens. See the jam. We're gonna be in East King, East King. Ooh, we flop the flush draw. Do we get there? Oh, we get there with the free roll. Oh man, that's some run good. That is some run good there on the turn too. Didn't have to wait to the river. Right. Interesting spot here with Ace King. This player is short. I think we just plays a jam with our four bat range here because they're in. So yeah, I'll just jam it in. Problem is we're not really gonna have bluffs here because this player has so much of their stack in. But getting versus Ace six suited, pretty good start. Got a faded club or a six. All right, no more club worries. Ace King good. So open it up, get called here, flop a gut shot, backdoor hearts, and overcard will that flop. See the call, pretty big turn card, so we pick up the flush draw as well. And we'll bet the turn. So if we hit the nine, we'll have the long end of the straight. Ugh, get raised, kind of sick. Um, I mean, it's tough we don't have the nut flush draw. If we just had the queen high flush draw, we might fold, but I think having the gutter as well will be calling here. And diamond on the river. And jams will let it go. Uh, small blind opens pre, we call, we flop two pair, they check to us. Turn the boat, very nice turn card. So we'll bet the turn. Get raised. All right, so with this big of a hand, especially against small raise, just going to call in position. Hopefully has another five there. So 91 in the middle, 142 back, but half pot on the river will put him in for the rest. Hopefully cooler and I'm here for a big pot. So I'll be jamming. Snap calls threes. Wow, they flopped a set. Turned a boat, but we turned the better boat. Sick flop. <laughs> An even sicker turn. Good spot for us. Here we have under the gun open. Three betting king, queen of hearts on the button. <laughs> I don't believe you. Four bet coming in. All right, so he puts in the four bet. Just going to be a flat in position. So take it to flop. Flop and open under. Probably just getting this in on the flop against any bet from him, or if he checks to us, we'll bet to call off. I th or maybe I check back, actually. Eh, not 100% sure if he checks. If he bets here, I think I'm pretty clear just GM on this board. So, yeah, we'll go for GM. And get called, has Queen. So we've got 39%. Turn the straights, and there's some run good. King, queen, cracking the queens. Here we have button open, three bet, ace, queen from the big blinds. See the four bet. I would normally do a lot of flatting here, but against a more aggressive, like, four better here, um, we're going to be jamming here. Standard would be to flat, though. All 
See, the call is kings. <laughs> Not good. So we jam in the ace queen. Wish we would have gone up the standard there. Unfortunately, get it in and lose. All right, YouTube, that's the end of a cash game session here today. So we played for five hours at two, five, one, two, and 50 cent a dollar. Total results 2,150 hands profit of plus 674. Nice little winning day here to get us back over 78K profit on the year. So hope you enjoyed the hands and the video today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.